Do you know what the silent killer is? It's kidney disease. You can lose up to 90% of your kidney function without experiencing noticeable symptoms. The kidneys quietly filter our blood and understanding how to monitor their health becomes a paramount. Now let's unravel the mysteries of these tests that play an important role in safeguarding the health of our kidneys. Welcome back to the Kidney Zone. I'm Dr. Mo. Before we begin, please remember that this video is for informational purpose only. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider. Let's briefly explore the fundamental functions of our kidneys. Think of them as master filters, sifting through blood to remove waste and maintain the internal balance of our body's chemistry. Now, Let's demystify the kidney function test that healthcare professionals use to monitor our kidneys. Blood pressure measurement. Elevated blood pressure can strain the kidney filters, potentially causing damage over time. There's also some blood tests like creatinine and BUN, or blood urea nitrogen. These are tests that provide insight into the kidney functions. Elevated levels may indicate issues going on. There is also another test that doctors order, which is called glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. GFR estimates the rate at which the kidney filters blood, helping classify the stage of chronic kidney disease. There are also some urine tests, like protein and albumin in the urine. Protein and albumin in the urine may indicate the kidney issues, as healthy kidneys keep these essential protein in the blood. There are also some imaging studies like ultrasound. Ultrasound offers a non-invasive look at the kidney, look at the structure, identifying any potential abnormalities or obstructions for the urine outflow. Now allow me to expand more on some of these tests. Creatinine. Creatinine is a waste product produced by muscle metabolism. It's normally filtered out of the blood by the kidneys and excreted in the urine. The levels of creatinine in the blood is a vital indicator of kidney function. When the kidneys are healthy, they efficiently filter and excrete creatinine, and elevated creatinine levels in the blood can suggest impaired kidney function, as the kidneys may be struggling to effectively remove the waste products. Creatinine levels, when measured alongside other factors, can help the healthcare professional assess uh, the glomerular filtration rate, providing a snapshot of overall kidney function. Another number doctors look at is blood urea nitrogen or BUN. Measures that amount of uh, urea nitrogen in the blood is important because urea is a byproduct of protein metabolism and it's typically filtered out by the kidneys. Elevated BUN levels can indicate issues with the kidney function or dehydration. However, it's important to note that BUN levels can be influenced by factors outside the kidney function, such as diet and certain medications. Therefore, BUN is often considered alongside other kidney function tests to provide a comprehensive assessment. Now, the other thing is glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. The filtration rate is a key metric in assessing kidney function. It quantifies the rate at which the kidneys are filtering blood. The glomeruli, which is a tiny structure in our kidney, filters waste and excess fluids from the blood to the urine. GFR is often estimated using a mathematical formulation that takes into account creatinine level, age, sex, and other factors. A higher GFR indicates a better kidney function, while a lower GFR suggests that there is an impaired kidney function. Chronic kidney disease is often classified into stages based on the GFR levels helping healthcare professionals tailor treatment plans and intervene accordingly. Healthcare providers use a combination of these tests to assess the kidney health and determine chronic kidney disease stages. And this helps in managing the treatment and decide whether you need to start on dialysis or get a kidney transplant, or it can be managed conservatively. Also remember that maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and proper hydration positively influences the kidney health. So please watch the other episodes of this Kidney Zone podcast to learn about how to protect your kidneys and the best practices to keep them healthy and alive. 
Understanding kidney function tests empower individuals to actively participate in the kidney health management. So, if you found this information valuable, please share it with those who are interested in safeguarding their kidney health. Thank you for joining me in this episode and I'll see you in the next episode of The Kidney Zone.